paper mache mask making. I have paper mache paste or art paste, a mask mold, and it's a strong mask mold. I have two different colors of copy paper. I have yellow and I have white. You definitely want white copy paper. If you have another color, that's great. A lot of people use newspaper. You're more than welcome to do that. Copy paper is a little thicker. So here I am, I'm smoothing out the paste on it. I'll have paste on my fingers the whole time. And what I like to first do is go around the eyes. And if you want to cover up the eyes, you're more than welcome to, but I want the eyes to be open. And then I go around the nose. These are kind of the trickiest places, the smallest places to go. If you want to be able to breathe, then don't cover up where you want to breathe. It could be the mouth, the nose, it depends on what you want to do. So use your thumb, I'm smoothing it out. You're gonna be turning the mask. Really make sure it gets completely wet, but not super wet. If it's super, super wet, it'll be like a lake. You can use large pieces like this, but just really, you see how I'm rubbing it on? I've got paste on my hands. This area too is forgotten a lot. Really make sure you're covering it and then smooth it out really nicely with your fingers. So the key is to get it wet and then you can tear as you go. I find the little pieces and how having it torn make it fit really nicely as a kind of a jigsaw puzzle. And just keep rubbing it on, making sure you're smoothing it out and getting the paste wherever you want it to be. Um, this area I find the easiest is the forehead. You just, <laughs> it's just a nice simple area to do. So you can use big pieces and just cover it up rather rapidly. Um, but notice I'm using my all my hands and my fingers and I'm rubbing on it. I used to say uh, you're kind of like you're massaging it. So you can even massage it too. Um, but if you've noticed, I don't have a lake of paste everywhere. I, it's pretty tidy. And that is because I'm keeping it mostly on my fingers and um, on the paper. So I'm not using too much. Now if you use too much, that's fine. A lot of people are different. So you can just put a piece of paper underneath it and then use that paper since it's all wet. So this is what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna take some yellow and I'm going to do the same thing all over again. So you need about five layers. This takes time. And I like to use the yellow because again, it reminds me I have done one layer and I've covered everything nicely, but you don't have to do this. You can just keep going with the white or you can use newspaper. It's up to you. Um, I'm just gonna keep smoothing it out, but make sure you don't fold it over the mold because it will actually attach it to the mold. And that's not the goal. The goal is to have this as your work of art. And as you add more layers and you smooth it out, you'll get rid of a lot of the bumps. But if you use smaller pieces, you won't have as many bumps. But everybody's different on how they do paper mache, so find your rhythm and enjoy it. But remember, I am turning this a lot. And look at my fingers, they're always kind of sticky. I'm dipping into the paste, and um, the paste right now is pretty thick, too. It's not very watery using small pieces if I want to, and I'm tearing it. I make a big piece and then I tear and then place it on it really carefully. So I am on my second layer, and then I'm going to add a third layer and then fourth layer with a really fast time lapse for you to see. But make sure you get the edges. That is really important. It tends to be really weak right here. People forget to do that. Or maybe you just need to add a little extra there too. So this is paper mache mask making and it's a lot of fun. It's very fun and versatile. You can do a lot with this. So thank you for tuning in, liking and subscribing to my YouTube channel. This is Cecily Studio YouTube channel. And I hope you get to enjoy a lot of the tutorials that I have for you. Take care.